Okay, I want to talk for a second about something in TFS that we're not using the way we should and it's making it harder to read our bugs. It's not just the test team, I think it's some of the development team members too and I just wanted to make sure everybody know, knew how to use it. Um, here's how we're doing bugs right now. Uh, we create the bug, we give it its title and we do all the stuff. And then we go into the details and we write a description and then uh, whoever was working on it uh, goes in and uh, puts something in here. In this case, I was pretending it was Nicole. So she said, yep, I fixed that. The bomb's been disarmed. And then I get it back because it said it was resolved. And I say, huh, I tried twice this morning. It didn't work. It blew people up. It's not fixed. Uh, and I sign it back to Nicole. And then she says, oh, I figured out that I cut the wrong one. And she sets it back to me. And then I say, oh, good, it works now. So that's a little confusing. You can go to the history tab and see, you know, who made it what status, but it's kind of hard to read these notes, you know, like when it says NA, does that mean this is a note from Nicole Anderson or does it mean it's a note to Nicole Anderson? Because here's one that says Nicole and I look down here. So, oh, it looks like it's probably from me to Nicole. Here's one with no initials or no words or anything. And here's me putting it at the top so that the person will see it. Uh, that's not the right way to do this. So let me show you what would be the right way to do this. Let's go here. Here I've done the same bug, but I've done it the way I want us to do it. So I created the bug, huge and I've said in the description what it is that happens, and I've done the reproduction steps. These shouldn't be edited again unless you discover that you need more description to make it clearer or if you've made a mistake or, or left something out of the reproduction steps. This is a description of the bug um, and you shouldn't be messing with these fields once you've created them unless you need to change the description. In order to, to communicate back and forth with the development team or for the development team to communicate with the testing team, what you should do is go to the history tab. And here you can see that I created this bug and made it active. Nicole fixed it and marked it resolved. I looked at it and said, no, it's not fixed, made it active again. She fixed it again, marked it resolved, and this time I agree. And the way you can see what happened is, Nicole's first comment was, I fixed this as of this build, the bomb has been disarmed. Then you can see that the next thing was Elizabeth, who says, sorry, I tried it twice this morning, it didn't work, can you please look again? Sent it back to Nicole, and Nicole says, oh, I figured out what was wrong, blah, 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 wait for the next build, it should be fixed. And now I said, sweet, it works now and I marked it to closed. So the main point here is details should just be a description of the bug and there are steps to reproduce it. Any communication back and forth about I fixed it, no you didn't, etc., should all happen within the history tab. And you do that just by typing stuff in here and then it becomes saved down here when you save the issue. Hope that's clear. Thanks a lot.